The past couple days, I've noticed that my skin is much drier. I naturally have dry skin anyway, but like my scales, my legs are starting to come back and my face was looking really blotchy and I was like, what is going on? And it, I noticed that the leaves started changing and falling and I was like, that's what's going on. It's about, I'm gonna pop this in here real quick. It's about the weather changing and even if it's still hot, which is still hot here in PA, the, um, everything's changing okay so back to school fall is coming it'll be here before we know it i wish summer would last forever but i noticed the past two days if you've been on i've been going live the past two mornings and i've been gua sha my face and doing like facial massage and stuff i've been using oils on my face and my skin looks much better than it did just a few days ago and it made me think, you know what? My skin just needs more hydration. And I bet if you are my age or older, your skin probably needs more hydration also. I find that when I apply my Saint makeup, because it is cream, my face, my skin is like very dewy and very supple and it stays super hydrated. It doesn't let all the garbage get in there from the outside. But when I'm not wearing makeup and I don't wear makeup every day, my skin just looks red and and dry and weird so i want to make sure that we are all practicing good skin care going into the fall and that if you're wearing makeup you're not wearing makeup that's going to dry you out further than your skin already is and your maturing skin already is so if you're wearing liquid foundation i almost guarantee you it has alcohol or something in it which is drying your skin out if you're wearing powder on your face enough said we all know the powder is just going to absorb any moisture in our skin and suck us dry so that's where creams come in i'm going to apply a little bit of this so i'm going to start with my 3d brush and i'm going to show you how i apply my makeup and i want to know if you are have maturing skin and if your skin is naturally dry especially in the winter and i want to know what you do for it what your go-to like skincare is I wanna know if you are using liquid or powder on your skin. Don't worry, I'm not gonna come after you. I am only here to teach and help you learn a better way to um, take care of your skin, to manage your skin in whatever um, season it is in. So I've noticed that as long as I am doing my daily like cleansing, um, toning, moisturizing, that my skin stays pretty good. But, but the past two mornings, like I said, I did the oil on my face Yesterday, I let it really soak in. I didn't wipe any of it off. And my skin, you can see it. My skin looks really good today. And that's only after two days of, of applying the oil. So um, I'm gonna make sure that I keep on applying my makeup because it has so many good ingredients in it. My skincare does too. And it keeps my, my skin hydrated all day long. It's incredible. It creates like a nice barrier on your skin. So this is what we're gonna do. If you don't know what this is, this is Saint. It's one compact makeup. It's completely customizable. And what makes it customizable is each one of these tins pops in and out of here. They magnetize in. So what mean, that means is that you build your own personalized compact um, with whatever colors you want. And I help you do that by color matching you to your colors. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. What I'm doing right here is I'm contouring to hide my jowls and my double chin by taking that contour between my chins and just kind of shadowing all underneath here. So we can hide a whole lot of things with contour. So I contoured underneath my cheekbones. I need to blend that out a little bit better. We wanna make sure we don't come way down here with our um, contour because it can look like a five o'clock shadow. Not bad, eh? So we just create that little shadow. We're creating shadows here. So who has not been color matched to sync? That's what I wanna know because it's free and it's easy and I'm not gonna bug you. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if you got your color match, if you have any questions and then, hi friend, and then um, we go from there and you decide what you want to do. So I'm gonna do a little bit of brightening I've been using the color Sunlit, and then, so the reason that I have is because it, it has those yellow, nice creamy yellow undertones, and the yellow is going to counteract my redness, which I need a lot of. So I'm gonna tap into kind of just all of these right here and cover up the discoloration on my eyes. 
I really like having three different foundation colors in my palette personally, because note me, well then, okay, so if you saw, I actually, did I pin it? <gasps> I didn't pin it, I'm so sorry. Well, let me go back right here. I am, I pinned my color match form. There you go, you can go do that and it's free. Get a quick color match and I will email you back your colors. Thanks for answering. Um, so what was I saying? I have the worst ADD, it is so bad. So I'm color correcting, I know I was talking about doing this. Someone tell me where I was at because I just can't stay on track myself. Someone tell me, I'll wait. <laughs> it's terrible, I need medication. All right, so I'm going like this, three different colors. Oh yes, thank you. Three different colors in here because it allows you to transition throughout like the, not just the seasons, but as your skin, your skin color can change by the day, depending on how much sun we get and whether or not um, we're inside for a day or two because it's been raining or we just didn't go outside. So I think it's important and I know sometimes it seems like a little bit of overkill, but it really isn't, it's for a reason. And that way, if your skin changes a little, you have something a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. And then I brighten with this color right here. So as we get paler, as we get into winter, then you get lighter colors and then these colors become like your main foundation colors. And then you just get the brighter concealer colors. And then you wind up with a palette with a few different colors, which takes you throughout all the seasons, which is really darn cool. So I'm using my brightening color right here and around my nose because again, that yellow is going to counteract um, that redness around my nose, just like that. And I'm using, if I didn't mention, the 3D brush. So if when you start with Saint, I make a few different brush recommendations. We love the 3D brush. We love the detail brush because it's really great for contouring and cutting in and it has that other end which you can do your eyes with, which is awesome. And then the blush and bronzer brush too, which is the really big fluffy one. But if you are in the market for just one brush because they are an investment, get the 3D brush to start out with. It's a really great brush to start. You can do your whole face because you can flip it over. And again, you can apply your foundation color with the smaller end and you can get into that corner right there and press your makeup on. So you can start out with just this one, but if you're in the market for more than one brush, I would definitely get these two brushes. I would get the detail brush and I would get the blush and bronzer brush. They are really great starter brushes. So we brightened and we applied our main color, our foundation color. We contoured out. Now we're gonna apply a little bit of lip and cheek color. So this is called Madrid. It is a satin color which means it's not gonna have as much sheen to it as a semi-gloss or a gloss. And I'm gonna apply it just like this. So I'm gonna stay two fingers away from my nose so we can give ourselves a little bit of a facelift and I'm pressing it. I'm not wiping my makeup on ever. We, I'm always pressing my makeup and taking it up toward my temple like that. Okay, and just, it blended right in with my contour and it gives us a nice little facelift. Now, if you want your face to look sun-kissed, you can go across your nose with your bronzer, with your lip and cheek color. Hello, thanks for hanging out, thanks for being here. If you um, have a very thin face and you kinda wanna make it this way, you don't want it to look as thin, you can bring your contour and your cheek color in this way and make your face a little bit wider. But most of us, thank you very much, most of us, I think want our faces to look a little bit more narrow. We want nice um, face framing brows. We wanna look skinny down through here. So we're gonna do that little bit of a lift. It is so easy to use this makeup. I am not a certified makeup artist. I am not um, perfect at doing this at all. And if I can apply this makeup, anybody can apply this makeup. And if you mess up, you just go into your makeup to one of your other colors, whatever you used, and you just kind of magic erase over it and you start again, or you wipe it off and you do it again. But it's really user friendly. And the creams are so lightweight, so you can still see my shining skin through there. Now you can apply a full face of makeup. If you love like glam and you want full on makeup, by all means, we have brushes for that too. 
you could use the buff brush, which is gonna pick up a little more makeup, and then you blend it out with your blush and bronzer brush. And I know that if you don't use Saint, this probably all sounds really crazy, um, but there are other ways to get exactly what you are looking for. So that's basically four colors. That's my contour. It is our brightening color, our which is called our highlight. It is our my main color, also called a highlight, and then my lip and cheek color. So that was four colors, but I like to do a little bit extra sometimes. So you can start with just the four and a brush and a compact, right? Or you can go a little bit further and you can get a bronzer because they are so good and it's just gonna warm you up and everybody should have a bronzer in their palette. This is another color where it's not going to provide coverage, so you're not gonna get any extra layers, but it is going to help you get through the seasons. So if you are on the fair side and those are the colors that you have in here, and then you happen to be out at a cookout or a baseball game, you get a little bit of extra sun, that's where your bronzer comes into play and you can grab it and just use it wherever you need to. Hi, you can use it wherever you need to uh, just to kind of blend everything together and make it look like it was supposed to be that color or make your neck and your face match. So I'm applying bronzer right now to my neck. And again, it's, it doesn't provide coverage. So you're just getting that warm glow without having like makeup on your neck into your ears. You can do wherever, a little bit across your nose. You can do the back of your neck. And then, so on my lips, I like to wear a semi-gloss or a gloss. However, if I want a little more pigment, what I'll do is I will take the satin color first on my lips. I like applying with my finger. You can apply with your multitasker brush if you want to, which has the little flat end for your lips. And then I like to apply a gloss over top. And the reason that I like to do that, anybody know? If you're on it live with me a lot, you will know why. It's all about our maturing dry lips because they have lots of fine lines in them. And when we apply makeup on them, which is um, flat, right? Or has a flat finish it's going to make them stand out. So we wanna add a little bit of that shine back in, that glossiness, which is gonna help them look more youthful and more plump, and I love it so much. So I also do my brows in here. Now my brows are somewhat done, but then when I apply my makeup, they kind of go away a little. So I use my line brush and my oak eyeshadow. What this does is it gives me a nice powdery brow. And then since I'm applying powder over top of my cream makeup, it's gonna give it like super staying power. If you've ever used an eyebrow pencil or uh, something like that, like a mechanical pencil, they just kind of like disappear on your face throughout the day. They're really easy to wipe off. And the other thing is this, I don't have a whole lot of hair in my brows. If you are older or have thyroid issues or alopecia or anything like that, you might not have a whole lot of hair in your brows also, which means that on your brow bone out this way, when I turn my head, you can see how like shiny that gets, right? Even if you're microbladed, it might be really shiny out there. And what I find is it makes it kind of look like, when it attracts the light, it makes it kind of look like my brow disappears from there over. So when I apply the powder, it gives it like a mattified effect and it makes the shininess go away, which means the light isn't going to reflect off of it. It's going to absorb the light, which means it's going to be more noticeable and it makes your brow look longer and better. And I know this is like a horrible job right now, but I'm just trying to do it fast. So mattifying your brows opposite of our lips is going to um, give it a little more pigment out there. Because I'm telling you, when I used to use the pencil out here, because the pencils are, they have like a semi-gloss finish and my brow would like disappear out there. And then all day long, I'm like applying more and applying more. I'm like what the heck is going on? And then when I started using the powder, the eyeshadow with the pencil, my brows looked 
so much better. They're there, right? They're like face framing now and they're there. So if you like that dewy, glowy, glossy look, that's where Illuminator comes into. So right here, I'm already really glowy. You can take the glowy Illuminator underneath the arch of your brow. Now you don't want to illuminate underneath your entire brow. You want to illuminate only under the arch of your brow because that's going to lift it up. So if you watch Makeup Girls on TikTok or wherever and you will see them take the really bright concealer and go underneath their whole brow, right? We see them do that all the time. That is going to visually lift up their entire brow. I personally want this part of my brow to look like it is where it is and then I want this part to look higher because as we get older, our brows droop. Everything goes south, right? So I want that, and then I like kind of bringing it around here. And this is cream, and just like the bronzer, it's not going to give us any coverage. You just blend it out however you want it. I like connecting this. I saw a girl in Starbucks once, I didn't used to do this, and I saw a girl in Starbucks once, and she had gorgeous illuminator wrapping around here, and I was like, <laughs> I'm going to do that from now on. I love that. So right under here, this is called Honey, this cream colored illuminator. We have powder illuminators too, which are glam and absolutely gorgeous, but they're not as natural looking. They're much more like in your face, beautiful, powdery glam. It's a little bit here. And now if I wanted to, I could go in and color correct my nose and contour my nose and all the things, but I'm not even worried about it because I just like the more natural look. I have a little bit of bronzer across my nose. So I just used some illuminator illuminator right there we did that here a little bit right here on your bottom lip anywhere where the light naturally hits your face is where you want to apply illuminator just tapped into the wrong thing your chin it gives you a glow it attracts the light to those areas so our contour it brings the eye here, right? Our brows are nice and they make our eyes look open. They make our face look a little bit wider up here so that down here visually looks a little bit smaller. If you contour your nose, it's gonna make it look more narrow, like you got a little nose job, right? And then our lips, when we apply the illuminator, if you contour them and you put your, your colors on, it makes them look 3D also. And that's what this is called. This is called 3D foundation because that's what contouring and highlighting and illuminating and all that stuff does. It's really important that instead of just using one color of makeup, our foundation bottle or our compact with our powder that we put all over the place, we do that and it washes us out because it's taking away the natural shadowing, it's taking away the natural colors on our cheeks, like our flush. It just takes away all that natural, amazing dimension. And that's why we need to add it back in like this and this makes it easy this is so easy so you can get a color match right here right at my pinned comment i hope it's right there for you guys you can go to link my bio or just dm me i'm gonna post this on youtube and i'm gonna post it here to my feed um, if you're not over my youtube channel you might want to be over there because there's uh, quite a bit of content over there to help you with your makeup if you choose me to be your saint artist what that means is that we are connected for life. For life, you, you have me, if you want me, as your saint artist, which means that I'm always just a message away to help you. And if you get your makeup and you're having trouble, number one, you have 30 days to return it for your money back. But number two, because you're gonna love it and you wanna love it, we can FaceTime or I can send you any information or videos that you need to and practice, practice, practice. Don't give up on it. The first second or third time it's something new and it takes anybody a little while to learn something new i don't care what it is so super quick very pretty very easy very dewy lightweight makeup and it's friday so i'm feeling good which means that everything just it just pours out of you you know what i mean out of your pores okay all right so dm me if you need help get your palette